welcome back to Let's Talk PMA. I'm Allie. And I'm Jessica. Today on episode number five, we are going to tackle commitment. Yay, commitment. <clears throat> I love commitment. <laughs> Some people have a really hard time with commitment, but um, when it comes to sports, it's um, something very important if you want to be really good at your sport, right? Yeah, definitely. Commitment is really, it's really hard, honestly. And you have to have like good intentions and good reasons to be able to be fully committed to anything. Um, it's hard to commit yourself to something when you're not passionate about it and you're not like, you know, you're doing it for someone else. Like it's something you have to do for yourself. Yeah. And especially, you know, in any sport, you know, you, if you have that sport in your heart and soul and that's something that you want to do it's really easy to say this is I want to get better I want to be committed um I know when I was in high school and I wanted to be the very best I wanted to you know have a great shot I wanted to make sure that you know I was kept up I ran I was in shape I was you know made sure that I did everything and and <clears throat> my junior year I made sure you know my shot was very important and I wanted to make mm -hmm. sure that I had it all and um, I went in six o'clock in the morning, every morning during the week and was there before school started. And I would shoot for a couple hours and I would run and I would do all the drills that I needed to do. It was just that extra commitment that I had that um, made it so that um, I was better and I had a great year. So it was that goal, those goals that you set and what you, what you feel that you want to accomplish. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I did the same thing in high school. I found exactly what I wanted to do and where I wanted to go. And I, you know, I mean, I would go spend hours at the gym after school, you know, after practice, I would come home and I would eat and then go right back to the gym, just putting in the work, whether it was, um, you know, playing scrimmages with the, all the guys or, um, you know, just sitting there and shooting and shooting and shooting, working on my ball handling, whatever it was, um, just putting in the work so I could continue to get better because I mean, I was committed because I knew exactly where I wanted to go. I had goals for myself and it was something that I was passionate about. So it was easy for me to just put my all into it. Right. And, you know, as, as soon as you kids told us that you were committed or wanted to be that extra in your sport, we made sure that we supported you hundred percent. You know, we made sure that, you know, if you wanted to go to extra camps or you wanted to have a trainer or, you know, whatever it was that you decided that you wanted to do, but it had to be your commitment. Yeah. And um, once you guys said, you know, I want to be able to do this so that I can get better. And us as parents, we were like, okay, that's, that's great. And we will do everything in our power to make it better for you. So um, it's just really important to have that backing, especially as kids, especially young kids or in high school or whatever, but um, you have to have that extra backing if it's from your coach or your parents or whoever it is that that's your extra. So it makes a big yeah. difference. Yeah, and you can be committed to something and you know, it's still hard because I know that I like for the longest time I was very committed to basketball and mm -hmm we would like, I would go and do um, like workouts with different trainers or whatever it was, but I wasn't always committed to that type of work. Um, and that type of work was like harder for me. And I didn't always want to go like a hundred percent because it was too hard or whatever. Um, and so it's being able to, if like you're truly committed to something, I think for me, once I actually set my goals and I said, okay, if I want to get here, I have to do this. You know, I had to make a list of these are the things that I have to do to be able to get to the goals that I want to get to. Cause I mean, you can be committed and you can want something really bad, but if you don't put in the work and you don't um, understand exactly how you're going to get to your goals, then that, you know, that changes everything. Right. <clears throat> Well, and like you said, you know, if you have those goals and you go and do the work and it's too hard, you have to have that mental toughness to be like, yeah, it's hard, but it's going to be worth it in the end. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure yeah, it's hard to get up that hill. Yeah, it's, you know, it's that extra um, sucks and I don't want to do it. But if you don't do it, 
then you're not going to be as good as, you know, there's a possibility of you not being as good as you want to be. Yeah. But if you make a decision in your mind that, okay, I just, I got to get power through this. And, and then you're going to start to gradually see how much better you're becoming, how much stronger you're becoming. And all of a sudden that goal isn't as hard as it was when you first started. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, um, Allie, when you had a commitment, say, you know, to your basketball, you really wanted to make sure that, um, you wanted to, you know, make varsity, right. And you're like, I'm committed to this, this project. I'm committed to getting stronger, to getting better. Um, what kind of goals did you set for yourself? Um, I think first off, cause like, I mean, since I was a kid, I knew that I wanted to play college basketball. <clears throat> and so I think first thing first came was where do I want to play college basketball? Um, so, you know, that's my big goal. Okay. I wanted to play college basketball at Gonzaga or university of Arizona. Those were my two places, my two universities that I really wanted to attend um, that I really wanted to go play basketball at knowing that I could, I could potentially not get there, but those were my big goals that I wanted to reach. Um, and from there I made little goals. Okay. I have to have this grade point average. I have to be able to do these things in basketball. Um, I need to have this scholarship or whatever it was, you know, I made, I made little goals that showed me if I reach these, I can get to this college or this college. Um, and so I had different ones. I had one that went specifically for like the schooling aspect of it. What do I need to have in school to be able to go to these colleges? And then also what do I need to have or what do, what skills do I need to um, improve on or be best at to be able to attend these schools as well? Right. And so it's all about how you show up right so yeah. for showing up for yourself so you've set those goals these are the things that you wanted to do so now what you know what are you what are your expectations for yourself and like you said you know yeah. I have to get this grade point average I have to work this amount of time I have to put in this much effort to be able to um to achieve and so yeah. what happened when they didn't they didn't happen yeah so I mean did that make you feel it was really hard um I mean getting um a deny letter from a college is really hard especially one that you wanted to go to for basically your whole life um that's really hard but at the same time I also knew um I had other things going for me and um I you know what I mean? Like I, I wanted to do other things for one and I knew it wasn't the end of the world. I knew I could go play somewhere else and, because I had offers from other places. Um, it might not have been exactly where I wanted to go, um, but I had some offers and I had some options. So there's always going to be options. And um, I feel like you need to have, especially when it comes to like college basketball or college, whatever sport you need mm -hmm. to have like you know, you're very high, like these are, would be like my dream places to play or go. And then you need to have, um, your second and your third options. You know what I mean? Um, right. Just like ones that may be a little bit more realistic, um, depending on the person, obviously, like for me going to a D one school, wasn't necessarily, a realistic okay. goal for myself. Like I obviously I could if I worked, you know, if I would have figured out myself in my sports earlier, um, I probably could have. And if I didn't choose other options in life, um, I probably could have. But at the same time, you know, like I knew that there was other options for me. I could go play at a D3. I could go play at a community college, um, which are all just as good because it's the fact of getting to play, not where I'm playing. Right. And that really goes to the question of how do you show up? How do you show up for your team sport, your outside activities and everything that um, you have going on in your life? So, you know, some kids, sports are just the activity they're doing at that time and that's not their goal. 
um, they have all the other opportunities that they go after. Um, yeah. So it's really, what do you want in your heart? What do you want? You know, is it, is it to go to a D1 school? Is it to just play for a community college? Is it just to play now how, where you're at? So it's really sitting down mentally, you as the athlete and saying, what are my goals? What do I want at this time? Yeah. And, um, you know, figuring out, you know, you may play more than one sport and that's great. Um, but if there's one sport that you like better than the other, figure out where the others land, you know, where's your true commitment and yeah. uh, where are you going to put your best foot forward? Yeah. And sometimes, um, I mean, like me, I had chosen to go a different path, um, with something else in my life that was important to me. So I went a completely different path. And at that point I had kind of given up and realized, okay, I'm probably not going to play college basketball. And I'd come to terms and said, okay, this is fine. You know what I mean? Like, obviously it wasn't what I wanted, but I was okay with it because I understood that I chose a different option instead. Um, but sometimes things come back around. If it's meant to happen, it's going to happen. Um, you know, after I went a different path, I ended up getting offered to play two sports at a community college, which was like, perfect it was a dream you know it was um exactly what I needed at that time and so if it's meant to happen it'll happen right yep but that doesn't mean you would put less effort in at the time that you're playing yeah so, exactly. <clears throat> yep so really you know we just think about your commitment and it's you know like we said it's like with anything and um, you have to decide what you want and that's, that comes from your goals and, um, you know, goals, set that primary goal. What is your ultimate? And then break it down. You're going to break those goals down into, um, smaller goals. And that's going to accomplish, eventually accomplish that main goal and make sure that you set timeframes. So, yeah. you know, Hey, I'm starting my season now in, as school, soon as school gets out, I'm going to go to all the camps I can at, at, during the summer. I'm going to be shooting. I'm going to be, if it's basketball, whatever sport it is, um, I'm going to be putting in that extra time all summer because my goal is to make the varsity as soon as tryouts, you know, happen. And so making sure I'm putting that time that you want that goal completed. And then, you know, those smaller goals, um, making sure that you set those, you know, what is that small chunk that's going to lead up to that bigger goal? And, um, you know, once those get accomplished, it sets your brain, it sets your brain in motion to say, okay, I've, I've accomplished this. And you give yourself that reward. I, I did it. And then you move on to that next goal. And eventually by the time that it comes at that time frame where you're at and um, that major goal comes in, you should be ready to accomplish that. And if not, maybe there's something else you have to do before that, but that's okay. You'll know where you're at, but yeah. it's sitting down and really writing out, you know, what is your goal and what's the time frame that you want that? Yeah. Figure out. Really important. And with that, I mean, two things. One, you have to make sure that you understand that you are a student athlete, student, your grades, everything comes first and you cannot play any college sport if you have bad grades you can't even get in a college if you have bad grades and if you do get in whether it's on a scholarship or whatever and you don't keep your grades up you will not play so you have to come to terms with whether you're good at school or not or you want to put in the effort or not you have to be a student athlete first you know student comes first always so write out your goals okay I have bad grades right now I what can I do to improve my grades so then I can continue to improve in whatever sport um, and keep you know keep my goals realistic because if you don't focus on both then you know you're putting in a lot of work and you're not going to get what you want out of it right and yeah. you also have to go over your your like understanding your commitment to yourself like ask yourself questions why do I want to do this why is it important to me? You know, what makes me, what drives me? Uh, why do I show up? Um, 
what do I like about training? What do I dislike about things? You know, you really need to have a complete understanding of if you're going to go all the way, why, you know, am I doing this for myself or am I doing this for someone else? Exactly. Yeah. The why, why is it important? Um, why do I want to complete this? Exactly. That's your, should be your absolute number one question is why. Yeah. And so it's, I think that's just a general in life. You know, why, why do I do anything is because I have this certain goal. Yeah. So number one, absolute number one question. So yeah. Yeah. Commitment, commitment. If you can learn commitment now and while if you're in school um, with the, with your sports, that's the jumping off point your whole life. You know, it's with anything, with jobs, with sports, with school, whatever you do, if you can learn to write out those goals and know how committed you are to each and everything that you do in your life, you're going to find that you're going to have so much success and yeah. it's going to just drive you to be a stronger, mentally tough person for sure. Yeah. And it all comes, I mean, it's not just for athletes. Um, parents have to understand the commitment that comes with an athlete, <clears throat> you know, they have to be able to support them and understand the commitment that comes with being the parent of an athlete. Um, you know, you have to take them, you have to show up, you have to help support them, um, help support their dream, you know, help them get wherever they want, but you can't want it more than they want it. And coaches as well, like you have to understand why you're there. If you don't even want to be that coach or you don't want to be there, then you're not helping you're not helping any of the kids and you're not helping yourself. Um, it's right. all commitment. You have to commit to your team. You have to commit to your family. You have to commit to um, whatever it is. You have to, everyone has to commit or else it doesn't work. <clears throat> Sometimes it's hard. You know, there's a lot of parents out there that um, their kids play sports and they're really dedicated and they're not able to be, you know, help them. And that's okay. But whoever you are that you need, you know, that you're making this goal for yourself, that you're being committed to whatever sport or whatever it is. Um, if you don't have that backing from your parents, it's okay, but make sure you do have someone that is backing you. Mostly it's going to be your coach or your teammates or whoever it is. And for parents, it's, it's understandable. You know, we all have our jobs. We all have other things that we're doing. And sometimes sports is not our thing and that's okay. And if it's your kids then that's fine, if you're, as long as you're supporting their efforts and wanting to do whatever they're going to do. Yeah. So, you know, we can't, we can't judge your life because of yours, but these are just guidelines, you know, to help yeah. they can be the best that they can be for sure. Yeah. And I mean, athletes look to their parents. They always look to their parents and they always will look to their parents. Um, so, you know what I mean? Like be the right supporter, you know, don't overstep be you know be right there for them but um they they need you they need you as well yeah for sure so all right well this is kind of a seems like an easy subject but um a quick and a quick subject this week and um commitment is so important and like we said with that goes goals and um figure out what you want and how hard you want to work for it and um, make it the best that you can do. Yeah, yeah, and next week we're gonna go over challenge, um, which is the last C of the four C's of mental toughness. And thank you guys all for being here and we're excited to um, finally finish up this four C's and move on to some new stuff. So thanks for joining and we'll see you guys next week. Thanks, have a good week.